Welcome to the video introduction to the TIA Forum. My name is Lee Gibson, and I am an instructor with TIA, helping Dave, James, and Mike to continue to improve the preliminary exam seminars. I'll also be helping to answer some of your questions in our forum, which are available to individuals enrolled in any of the TIA online seminars. Why have a TIA Forum? Before the forum, instructors answered the same question by email lots of times. We wondered if there are other people that have the same questions but didn't want to ask. We want all of you to benefit from the answers that our instructors provide. One advantage the forum provides for you is that, since more people will have a chance to see your question, your questions may get answered more quickly. You can mark your favorite answer to your question, moving that answer to the top of the topic, so that others will be able to find that best answer quickly in the future. Your instructor is involved in the forum as well, answering posts, checking to make sure that the other accepted answers are fully accurate, and provoking more discussion to make sure that our understanding of the topic is complete. If the number of topics in the forum for your seminar is large, then when you visit the forum with a new question, you may find instant answers to your question. Topics remain open after they are answered in case there are other questions or related issues that need to be discussed. Another reason we love the TIA forum is that it makes you a part of a learning community. Research has shown, and many of us intuitively believe, that interacting with others to discuss issues and to answer each other's questions as a community of learners is a very powerful tool to improve learning. In our forums, you will test your knowledge by attempting to answer the questions posted by other learners and develop your understanding of the concepts by discussing them with others who are working to learn the same material. We are really excited about partnering with all of you in the ongoing production of this knowledge base of answered questions. But enough about why we need a forum. Let's have a look and see what it can do. How do we use the forum? Start by visiting the TIA homepage and log in using your email and password, just as you usually do. When you arrive at your My Stuff page, Click on your current seminar to access its lessons and materials. I'll be using the 1P seminar as an example today, but the forums are available for all seminars. Once you are in your seminar, you will see indicators that are related to the forum. First, you can select the way that you want the forum layout to appear. Click on the Select Forum Layout link and then choose either Same Window or New Window, depending on how you would like the forum to appear. I prefer New Window for daily use, but for the video we will use Same Window, so I'll click there. Now we can enter the forum by clicking on either the icon or the title of any section, subsection, or lesson in the seminar. As you can see, as I expand the lesson outline, every title in the seminar has its own dialog bubble icon, indicating that there is a forum that is associated to that part of the seminar. We can tell what kind of activity is going on in the forum by looking at the different kinds of dialog bubbles we see. The blank bubbles mean that there is nothing new posted in the forum for this section. A bubble with a star would mean that there is a new post to the forum for this section. A bubble with four dots would mean that there is something new posted but the new post is to one of the sub-forums of the forum for this section of lessons. To post a new topic in the forum, we can find the subject of our topic here in the seminar, and then click on that title to enter the forum related to that subject. If we want to go back to the seminar lessons page, we can do that any time by clicking on Lessons, or go all the way back to My Stuff. Click on the Lessons link to take us back to exactly the same location within the lessons page that we just left a moment ago. If we don't want to find our subject in the seminar lessons, we can just enter the forum from any title we'd like. Then click up to the Joint Exam 1P Lessons 2012 heading in the forum, and then navigate down through the forum hierarchy, an exact duplicate of the seminar lesson structure, to find the subject we want. 
Generally, the forum works just the way that many other forums do, so any experience that you have using other forums is likely to be helpful for you as you grow accustomed to the TIA forum. There are a few things that I want to point out in particular. As a user, you can add or contribute to topics. To start a new topic, click on any New Topic button you see. Then you can name your topic and start adding your text. Note that there are several different formatting tools that you can use. The easiest way to use them is to select your text and then click the button that you want. For example, I've pasted in a little piece of LaTeX code here, which wouldn't make much sense if I submitted it the way it is currently typed. But if I highlight it and click Tech, then it is surrounded by the begin and end LaTeX strings, which I also could have just typed. And then you can preview your result to see how it will look before you post. A good way to get used to these tools is to make a test post of your own and preview it with different kinds of formats until you have a sense of what does what. You can use the font colors, font size, or the smileys to help express your ideas. It is important to remember that your usual nonverbal communication cues don't follow your words into a forum. So use smileys and other styles to help to express your thoughts accurately. You can also post images, a URL, or even a file attachment with your topic or response. Use these radio buttons to tell the forum if you want to attach a signature or whether or not you'd like to be notified when a response is posted. You can also save your topic as a draft if you aren't able to finish it at the time you start it. Let's submit this one and move forward. It takes just a moment or two to post your topic before pushing you back to the topic page. Now I will quickly demonstrate posting a sample response. Once you have posted your question or comment, other users will have the opportunity to answer your post. After one or more responses have been posted, you can choose which response is the best or which answer to your question is most correct or most helpful. Do this by clicking on the Accept button at the right-hand side of the winning post. Keep a lookout for another video that describes more about LaTeX and other more advanced topic authoring techniques. But following the GETS, Good Enough to Steal, protocol, can help you to get started right away. To do this, if you find other posts that have math symbols in them, you can hover over the post and then click Copy to grab the code that was written to make that post. Change it however you like and you're on your way to LaTeX Mastery. Just a couple of other things before we wrap up. First, Note that it is super easy to find new or unanswered items using the quick search links across the top of the page. Second, there is another useful list of links across the very top of every forum page. They are the user control panel, the new message indicator, the FAQ, search, and log out. Most of these I'll leave for you to explore on your own, but let's have a quick look at the user control panel before we finish up. Here we find a number of useful options and settings that you can control, including the profile that others can see for you, your signature for forum posts, your board contact and settings preferences, your private messages, and your friends and foes list, an easy way to keep track of the activities of your favorite users or to avoid some posters automatically. Well, that about wraps it up for today's introduction to the forum. Feel free to go on into the forum for your seminar and start exploring and posting your own topic and responses. Have fun, study hard, and good luck.